Hello, I'm Simon Whistler, you're watching Top 10's Net, and following up from a previous popular video, we've got another one that has 10 true facts that sound like BS. Number 10. The founder of Match.com lost his girlfriend to someone she met on Match.com. Gary Creeman purchased the domain Match.com in 1994 for $2,500 when only about 5% of Americans were online. He left the company two years later with a $50,000 payout. In 2015 alone, Match made $900 million in revenue. Whoops. Something else that Creeman lost out on with Match.com was his girlfriend. Creeman said that he had made the website so that it would be welcoming to women. He said he knew the site was successful because he lost his own girlfriend to a man she met on Match.com. After losing out on Match.com's success, we hope he found someone special on Plenty of Fish. Number 9. Oxford University is older than the Aztec Civilization the Aztec civilization emerged sometime around 1200 AD in modern-day Mexico. The Aztecs developed a complex calendar system, had universal education, but they also practiced human sacrifice and never developed metal forging. Without metal weapons, they didn't stand much of a chance when invaders led by Spanish conquistador Herman Cortes captured their capital Tenochtitlan in 1521. Amazingly, Oxford University, which includes alumni like Oscar Wilde, Lewis Carroll, Margaret Thatcher, Stephen Hawking, and the inventor of the internet, Tim Berners-Lee, is older than the Aztec civilization by over a century. The school was founded in 1096 when the ancestors of the Aztecs were just still nomadic tribes in northern Mexico. Also, at 920 years old, Oxford is the oldest English-language school still in operation. Number 8. There are waterfalls underwater it seems pretty illogical that there would be a waterfall underwater, but not only do they exist, the largest waterfall in the world is actually underwater. It's called the Denmark Strait and is found between Greenland and Iceland. How underground waterfalls work is that when colder water meets warmer water, the colder water sinks because it is denser. This is what happens at the Denmark Strait when the colder water from the Greenland Sea meets the slightly less cold water from the Yermiga Sea. As for the size of the waterfalls, the tallest on land is Angel Falls in Venezuela, which stands at 11,000 feet, and the Denmark Strait is three times taller. Also, much more water falls down the Denmark Strait than Niagara Falls, Earth's most powerful waterfall not on the ocean floor. Every minute, 6 million cubic feet of water go over Niagara Falls. That's enough to fill almost 60 Olympic swimming pools. The Denmark Strait, on the other hand, has 175 million cubic feet of water per second going over it. That's the equivalent of about 2,000 Niagara Falls, when Niagara Falls is at its peak. The Denmark Strait is just one of three known underwater waterfalls. Another one is located off the coast of Africa, near Madagascar and Mozambique in the Indian Ocean. The other one is found at the Strait of Gibraltar, which is where the Mediterranean Sea meets the Atlantic Ocean, between the southernmost point of Spain and the most northwestern part of Africa. Number 7. In a vacuum, metal can be welded together without heat. Normally, if you want to stick two pieces of metal together, you just use a lot of heat and weld them. However, if the pieces of metal were in a place with no oxygen, like in a vacuum or in space, then they can fuse together without any heat, a process called cold welding. When metal is in a place with oxygen, a protective oxide layer surrounds the metal, and this keeps all the atoms together. If a piece of metal without the layer is in an oxygenless area, and it touches another piece of metal without the layer, the atoms in the metal don't know they are two separate pieces and mix together. Number 6. Sharks are older than trees According to fossilized scales found in Siberia, it's believed that sharks first appeared on Earth sometime around 450 million years ago during the Silurian period. Over the years, sharks evolved and at one point there were over 3,000 species of shark. Today, there are about 500 species. Trees, on the other hand, don't appear until millions of years after the appearance of sharks. It's believed that trees first started growing during the Devonian period. This happened about 416 million to 358 million years ago. The oldest known tree fossil is 385 million years old, that is 65 million years after the first appearance of sharks. Besides trees, sharks are older than the dinosaurs by 220 million years, and they are 390 years older than Mount Everest. Just for some perspective on that, Homo sapiens only evolved about 200,000 years ago. No wonder they get a whole week to themselves. Number 5. The odds of you existing is 1 in 10 to the power of 200,685,000. Did you know that it's pretty much a miracle that you are here? According to Dr. Ali Benazir, the odds of you being here is 1 in 10 to the power of 2,685,000. We can't even write out that many zeros because it's 2,685,000 zeros. 
How it works is that the odds of your dad meeting your mum were about 1 in 20,000. The odds of that meeting resulting in children were about 1 in 2,000. Next, the odds of the sperm inseminating the egg that became you was about 1 in 400 quadrillion. That's 400 followed by 16 zeros. Of course, your parents didn't just appear out of nowhere, they were part of a lineage as well. The odds that they are a part of an unbroken human lineage that dates all the way back to the beginning of the species is about 1 in 10 to the power of 45,000. However, you've got to remember that each one of your ancestors was born because their parents met, it resulted in children, and the specific sperm and specific egg came together and created them. The odds of that happening, about 150,000 times, which is how many generations since the dawn of mankind, and you have the odds of 10 to the power of 2,640,000. Add all of that together and the odds of you existing is 1 in 10 to the power of 2,685,000. If you're wondering just how unlikely those odds are, it would be like 2 million people throwing a trillion-sided dice and everyone rolling the same number in the same roll. So just slightly better odds than you ever hearing the Academy Award for Best Director goes to Michael Bay. Number 4. The 9-11 attacks killed 1,500 people on the road In the 9-11 attacks, 2,977 people were killed in New York City, Washington, D.C. and outside of Shanksville, Pennsylvania. This includes the 16 hijackers. However, the attacks were more than just massive losses of life. They were also incredibly symbolic and sent shockwaves through the American psyche. One thing it did do was instill the fear of flying in many Americans. After the attacks, airport security was ramped up, yet air passenger miles dropped by 12%, and road mileage went up by 20%. This suggests that people were driving more than flying. This also meant that they would be driving longer distances, which is much more dangerous. Professor Gerd Gigerenza, a German academic who specializes in risk, said that all these extra people on the road, some of them driving long distances, led to about 1,595 deaths on American highways in the year following 9-11. Number 3. While developing the vaccine for rabies, Pasteur's team had a loaded gun in case someone became infected. Louis Pasteur is most famous for discovering the process that is known as pasteurization. In 1882, in the latter part of his already illustrious career, Pasteur decided to tackle rabies, which is almost always fatal, and even today there is no cure. At the time, the virus couldn't be isolated, so live rabid animals were picked up off the streets of Paris, brought to the lab, tied down, and samples of their saliva were taken. Since rabies was so dangerous, Pasteur's assistants, who probably didn't realize what they were getting into when they agreed to work with the world-famous scientist, had orders to shoot him if he was bitten. Who would do it would have to come down to who was the bravest. Luckily, no one was bit, and Pasteur and his team developed a vaccine to prevent rabies. It was first used on July 6, 1885, on a nine-year-old boy, and it saved his life. Number 2. The Romans used stale urine as mouthwash in urine, there is a chemical compound called urea. When it ferments, it turns into ammonia. You may recognize ammonia as a chemical in cleaning agents. For this reason, people have used stale urine to wash clothes for centuries, which does sound pretty gross. However, the ancient Romans managed to step up the gross factor by using fermented urine as mouthwash. While it obviously tasted terrible, apparently rinsing with urine cleaned the teeth and made them whiter. Yeah, we think we'd rather have yellow teeth than swish pee around our mouths. Number 1. The first movie played at the White House featured the KKK as heroes. When movies first emerged, they were often short, uncut clips and they were played at places like carnivals and movie theaters called Nickelodeons. Eventually, movies got longer and a milestone film is D.W. Griffith's The Birth of a Nation, which was released in 1915. It was an incredibly innovative film with lots of editing and at the time was the longest movie ever made, at about three hours long. The film is about the American Civil War and depicts the assassination of Abraham Lincoln and reconstruction after the war. At the time, it was the most financially successful film ever, effectively making it the first blockbuster. Oh yeah, and it was also based on the novel The Klansman by Thomas Dixon, the Ku Klux Klan, the heroes of the film, and the villains are savage African Americans played by white actors in blackface. The film is credited for giving the KKK a surge in membership. It also happened to be the first movie to ever be shown at the White House. On March 21, 1915, President Woodrow Wilson, who was a good friend of the author of The Klansman, took three hours out of his busy schedule to watch the film. After the movie, Wilson said, It is like writing history with lightning. My only regret is that it is all so terribly true. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We put out brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also, over there on the right, a couple of other videos you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching.